Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 39. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Right, so we are here for the Sakuba circuit, full circuit, the Suzuka circuit, and the twin ring Mategi. I should also explain that we are here for the A-class Asian tour. This, everything is just... My brain not working. Let's do this. Right, here we go. We got the R34. Oh, it's an absolute beauty. It is a beautiful car. I mean, he says, oh, it's an absolute beautiful car, but proceeds to crash into every single car in front of him. Lovely. I don't even know what I'm going to do after this stream. Because I'm just going to do one championship on the F1. Like, one career mode championship, and then I'll be done. Just a short little race run a short little test. Oh, 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 that sounds so good. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's such a beauty to drive. What does the interior look like? Let's have a look. I hate the fact that the the speedo literally goes up to like a hundred miles an hour and then that's it. I know because of the fact that like oh it's it's a sports car, but you don't speed, and it's so pretty cool. Holy shit. This thing is such a nice car. Such a nice car. I love it. Yeah, it is quite heavy for a sports car, to be honest. But then it's got four-wheel drive, so that's going to add quite a substantial amount to the weight. Getting around that corner, though, that was pretty challenging. I still can't believe how many views that video the other day got to. It was crazy. 900 views, just like that.
R34s that are rear wheel drive as well, are there? I thought they were like modified to be rear wheel drive. Were that actually R34s that came from the factory rear wheel drive? Because the Nissan GTR was four wheel drive always. Even the R32 I think was four wheel drive. No, the R32 was, no, it was four wheel drive. Oh, fair enough. I didn't know that. I mean, this is the V-Spec one, so. Damn. And that's that done. That was very good. Like a moth to a flame. There were two type models of R34 that had rear wheel drive. Ah, oh, fair enough. I didn't realize that, so learn something new every day. Oh my gosh. This thing is an absolute beast to drive. Supra have a hundred thousand horses bone stock. Does it? I don't think so. <laughs> Wait, Lane. Wait, Lane. Why has it got a thousand horses? That does not have a thousand horses. Trudeau. <laughs> That's quite quite crazy though. But the top of power is like 250 horses or something like that. Not too bad. 250 horses for a car is actually quite a bit of power. How the fuck does that. No. to cut it off on the paper so it's legal for street driving. So what they did is they committed fraud. That's what they did. <laughs> they committed fraud. <laughs> That's brilliant. Mm-hmm. 
pulls the time I used to look into my father's eyes We had to make car weaker on certifying for getting it from the factory. Oh, so they basically made a worse version of the car to send it off, and then they improved it for the factory for the um, production model. Fair play, fair play. It's a little bit like what Toyota did with. Um... Wait. Was, uh, yeah, when uh, Toyota did uh, the rally car, right? They did the rally car in the 90s, and the turbocharger could only be a certain size, so they built an expanded one that expanded under load. Yeah, the Celica. So, uh, what we're basically saying is Toyota is a company that is very well known for cheating. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> um, they tweaked the screws so turbo had larger diameter. Yeah, pretty much. Impressive. The uh, the final amount for how much channel membership is worth still hasn't been fully decided yet. But there will be like different numbers and different values. Yeah. Do, 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 That's quite funny that they still do that to this day. It's good for the customer, 100%. But the fact that they can pull the wall over... What the... I mean, Japan is quite a strict country. It just seems really weird that it, that kind of thing happens in Japan. Because you would think Japan wouldn't be the kind of country... Like, I get the rules are stricter, but they're so easy to break the rules. Like, that's rule breaking, down to a T. But you did something like that in the UK, you go to prison. I mean, it's smart. It gets round it. But that doesn't count in a court of law. Like if, oh, I outsmarted the system. So, you're going to jail. So, uh, how, how did you manage to commit tax fraud then? Oh, I just outsmarted the system. Well, it's still tax fraud. You're nicked. <laughs> Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. By the way, Heinz, after this race, I'm going to need your help to see whether this redirecting works that I can then move over to, like, an F1 stream. I hope that it works, but we'll have to see. I refuse. Well, if you're watching, you will be helping no matter what. <laughs> 
It's just to see if the stream redirects or not. It should do it, but... That's the official dino car can't use its full potential. Potential. More than likely. Probably stuck something in the fuel line so it uses half the amount of fuel or something. Turn on the lights. Honestly, Swedish House Mafia is, like, goated at the moment. Imagine going on a 10-year hiatus to then come back and release literally the summer hit of the year. Like, how... how... how? How does that even work? unbelievable Swedish house mafia are goated and you can't change my mind my mind is set in stone so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe and I will see you in the next one peace out <laughs>